Welcome to Rusty Brain Dump. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about home switches and linen switches. As you can see here, this is the front of the table, and these, right down here, are the home and limit switches for the table. There's two switches. Uh, the one in the front is the home switch, and the one in the back is the limit switch. Um, on the table itself, there's little metal uh, blocks right here. There's, you can't see the one for the limit switches behind that and a little bit farther to the left. As the table moves, as the table moves to the to the right, that home switch will hit first. And the home switch is a normally open switch, which means that power does not flow through the switch when it's not pressed. Uh, when you press the button, it allows power to throw, flow through the switch. The limit switch, on the other hand, is a normally closed switch, which means that when the button is not pressed, power can flow through it, and when you press the button, it stops power flow. So each one of the axes has the same setup. So the other aspect of this is that the, the limit switch is used for both ends. As the table moves to the right, uh, let's see if we can see it over here. There's another block right here that also hits that same limit switch to uh, limit the table's movement to the left. So under normal operation, you shouldn't be hitting any of these, these buttons at all, except for when you're homing your machine. These are the wires for the home and limit switches. Uh, this is the one coming from the x-axis or from the table. This is the one coming from the y or the saddle. Each one has four wires. The red and the white, the red and the black, sorry, the red and black are for the limit switches and the green and the white are for the home switches. Um, the z-axis or the spindle is doesn't reach down into this little panel down here. We're on the back side of the machine in the lower left panel. It doesn't reach down to this panel, so I need to uh, add some wires for that. I've also added uh, some the, these terminal blocks from uh, there's I pulled these eight blocks out of the um, control panel. I don't need them over there anymore, so I put them, I put them onto this rail here. And I'm going to use these to connect the wires from limit switches to the parallel port that I'm using from the computer. Plan is to have each home switch connect in here, and then to have all the limit switches connect to the same two terminal, to the same two wires to the PC. The challenge with using the parallel port on the PC is that there's only six input pins. Uh, so I can, I'm going to use five of them, I mean th four of them, one for each home and then one for all the limits. I don't see a need to have the limits, ha each of the limits have their own connection at this point, so it should work just fine. So I'm going to set that up and uh, I'll show you when it, how it works when I'm done. I've now got all the home switches and the limit switches wired up and working the way I like them to. So let me give you a little uh, tour of how I have that wired up. Uh, you may have noticed since last time we looked that this whole terminal block, I moved it all over to the right. Um, that was to make room because I needed more space for more uh, terminal blocks in here than I realized. So first of all, uh, I have these three here are all tied together, all bridged. That's my ground. Uh, it gives me six different places to plug in the ground wires. Uh, I'm using most of those right now. And when I say ground, this is the ground connected to the parallel port, coming from the parallel port. In this terminal, these three terminal blocks are the X, Y, and Z home switch uh, wires. And they're connected on the bottom to the home switches themselves. So these are the wires on top here, the ones coming from the parallel port, the ones on the bottom are the ones going to the actual switch. The next three are the ground wires. 
uh, that's the parallel port ground. So I've got the, uh, again, the ground coming from the PC, and then I've got the other end, so I've got the green wires, and well, and I've, this one I re had to run as the blue wire is the same as the green wire, so I've got the, the green wires here, and I've got the grounds here. So when the home switch is tripped, it will close that one of those switches, whichever home switch is hit, will close that switch and it will conduct electricity, letting the PC know that that home switch has been tripped. Um, and the way that the machine works is, or as Linux CNC works is, that it'll go fairly quickly until it hits the home switch, it'll back off, and then it'll go slower until it hits it again, and that's when it has its home location. Then we've got the limit switches. Now the limit switches are normally closed. So these had to have, to, and I have them all hooked up to the same pin. So they're all connected in um, series. These are the two X limit switches. We have them coming out of ground, going into this terminal block. Then we go down to the Z limit switch, goes into the ground or in this, from this terminal block to this terminal block. Then we have the y-axis limit switch goes from this terminal block to this terminal block. And then on this end, we have the wire going to the parallel port. To the, and so if any one of these gets tripped, then it's going to stop the machine. I'm not sure if that's clear. I'm sorry if it's not. I don't know how to make that more clear. but, but they're in series, so the, the power goes from, from here to there, out the bottom, into the next one, out the top, into the next one, out the bottom, into the next one, out the top, and then back to the PC. So that gives me all of my limit switches are connected together onto one pin, and then each of the home switches have their own pin. For those of you who are interested, this is how I set this up in Linux CNC. Your pins are listed over here, uh, input pins are listed over here on the right. I set the home input pin to no, pin number 10, I mean the X home to pin number 10, the Y home to pin number 11, the Z home is pin 12, and the limit switches are all on pin 13. Um, since the home switches are normally open, I have the check mark next to them saying that they're to invert the signal. Uh, and and then I make sure that the, the wires themselves are connected to those pins. Okay, so over here is the home switch. I'm going to tell the machine to home the axes and it will, uh, you'll see that it'll, this will move over, hit the home switch, it'll back off a little bit and hit it again. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Oh.